All right, um, tonight I'm going to try making a tiger lily patterned soap with a variety of colors. Here I have um, the pattern will go with a white base. We'll have a dark green, then a light green, then a light pink, dark pink, bright pink, and then we work our way backwards. Dark pink, light pink light green, dark green, and white, which will be the main base. I've already, already added the lye to the water, and uh, I'm going to get started with mixing so that we can move right along, and hopefully this will turn out all right. The fragrance is going to be lemon, fresh lemon, and we'll see how it goes. Let's see if we can get this one right. I tend to put too much color in my soap, and uh, so I'm going to try to limit it. I want it to be mostly white and the rest to be an accent. This is a pink lemonade called mica, and this is a bright berry. This one is bright berry with a little bit of activated charcoal. Here's white, and this mixture is going to go into the rest of it. Try putting the pattern right down the middle. We'll see if that works all right. And I'm going to just layer the colors one on top of the other. All right. Can you see? this right end. Uh, light green.
light pink. Keep them in order. This looks a little bit too bright to me, so I'm going to add a little bit of this to it. And I'm okay if it looks a little swirled, so I'm just going to leave it like that. It'll look cool. And then I'm going to put all of this down the middle. That gets us to the middle, so now I'm going to reverse and go back to the bright pink. Light pink. was I? Bright pink, medium pink. This one next? The green's next? Thank you. Helpful cameraman. All right. And then the green. This is the light green. up real quick. And then the dark green. This is kind of fun. And then we finish up by pouring the rest of this white on top and swirling it. Looks great. It's like a thick pouring consistency. down this way. And then I need to swirl it. Don't mind me. All right. 
hanger, improvised. Going down and around a few times. Go to the other end, down to the bottom and around a few times. I just make it up as I go along. You probably do the same thing. It's fun. Okay, and now to decorate the top. I just make it up as I go along. All right. Nice squirrels on the top. And I think that's it. I'll clean up, spray the top with some rubbing alcohol to prevent soda ash. Bang it on the counter, too. And uh, get the bubbles out. We should be good to go. We'll see you again when I open it up and start cutting. Thanks for watching. Okay, unloaded. Um, un okay, I unpacked the uh, the soap. Here it is. It's about 12 hours later, and I'm getting ready to cut half of it and set it on here. Line it up. Looks about right. And this is how we did for the inside. Ooh, there's the scent. Well, that's pretty cool. Take a peek at these. It's interesting. The darker color in here almost looks like flames or dragon fruit. <clears throat> it's lemon scented. That one's neat. Interesting. I think the layering of the colors worked pretty well. I would have liked these a little bit more swirly that way instead of straight up. There you go. I'll let these cure for uh, three weeks and then I'll be listing them on my Etsy store, Nancy's Garden Soap Co. If you're interested in buying them, lemon scented. Don't know what I'm going to name it yet. If you have any suggestions, comment below. Thank you.